Welcome to your business oracle, the one-stop hub for all your small business news and updates. We're back with another weekly small business news breakdown for the week ending October 28, 2023. This week, we'll be exploring an array of topics, from recent developments in government contracting regulations to an entrepreneur's bet on combating climate change. We'll also be delving into capital funding for small businesses and the impact of digital platforms like Etsy, YouTube, and Twitter on small businesses. So let's get started with the first topic of the day, small business developments in government contracting. Ever wondered how the recent changes in government contracting regulations could impact small businesses? Well, let's dive into it. The Civilian Agency Acquisition Council and the Defense Acquisition Regulations Council have recently published three final rules. These rules address conflicts between Small Business Administration, or SBA, and Federal Acquisition Regulations rules regarding programs such as the Mentor-Protégé Program, Small Business Joint Ventures, HubZone, and Women-Owned Small Businesses. Now what's interesting is that these rules allow large businesses to benefit from the Small Business Program. But there's a catch, they have to support small businesses in return. They also clarify that joint ventures may qualify as small businesses under certain conditions, and that contracting officers must consider the past performance of joint venture members. Moreover, the rules demand women-owned small businesses to be certified by the SBA or an approved third-party certifier when competing for set-asides or sole source awards. And let's not forget about HubZone small businesses. They are now certified annually by the SBA. These changes aim to eliminate confusion and open new doors for small businesses in government contracting. What if the solution to climate change lies within the energy industry itself? A question posed by Tim Duncan, the founder of Talos Energy, who has emerged as a beacon of hope in the fight against global warming. He's not just talking the talk, but walking the walk. Duncan has spearheaded the development of four carbon capture and storage projects across the U.S. Gulf Coast. This method, though controversial among environmental groups, is seen as a natural extension of the oil and gas business and an effective way to combat climate change. Talos Energy isn't going it alone. Duncan has formed strategic alliances with high-profile firms, creating a formidable force that can compete against industry giants like Exxon Mobil and Occidental Petroleum. His entrepreneurial leadership and unwavering commitment to reducing greenhouse gas emissions have not gone unnoticed. He has earned the respect and support of energy executives and industry experts demonstrating that business success and environmental consciousness can go hand in hand. However, Duncan's vision extends beyond just his company. Talos Energy's potential success could introduce a new era of environmentally conscious entrepreneurship. It's a bet on the future, a bet on the planet, and a bet that could change the way we approach climate change forever. Is capital shortage a roadblock to your entrepreneurial journey? Well, recent developments may just pave the way for your dreams. The U.S. Treasury Department has given the green light to four additional state plans for the State Small Business Credit Initiative, or SSBCI. The main goal of SSBCI, it's all about addressing capital scarcity for new startups and small business growth, with a particular focus on disadvantaged communities. Now what does this mean for small firms and budding entrepreneurs? Well, it's all about accessibility. The SSBCI program is crafting multiple avenues to make capital more attainable, including venture capital funds, loan participation programs, loan guarantees, and collateral support programs. And let's not forget about the states benefiting from this initiative. New York, Colorado, Oregon, and Montana are all on the list, with funding approvals ranging from $61.3 million to a staggering $501.5 million. So, if you've been waiting for a sign to kickstart your entrepreneurial journey, this might just be it. With programs like SSBCI, the path to entrepreneurship might just have become a little easier. Curious about how the latest market trends are affecting small businesses on platforms like Etsy, YouTube, and Twitter? Let's delve into it. Recent earnings reports have unveiled some surprising results. Etsy, the global marketplace for unique and creative goods, has seen a surge in sales, much to the delight of the small businesses that call it home. However, this growth isn't just about numbers. It's about the resilience and innovation of small businesses, adapting to the ebb and flow of consumer behavior. On the other hand, YouTube, the video sharing platform, has reported steady revenue. This stability is crucial for the countless content creators and small enterprises that rely on the platform for income. 
In the face of ever-evolving algorithms, these businesses are continuously developing their strategies to stay relevant and profitable. Now let's talk about Twitter. The social media giant has been witnessing some fluctuations in ad revenue. These shifts can significantly impact small businesses that leverage Twitter for promotion and customer engagement. Interest rates are another critical factor to consider. With rates currently on a roller coaster ride, small businesses must remain vigilant. Any shift can affect their loans, pricing strategies, and overall financial planning. Cross border supply impacts are also reshaping the landscape. With global trade undergoing massive changes, small businesses must navigate through these waters carefully. Whether it's sourcing materials from Etsy, reaching international audiences on YouTube, or networking on Twitter, these platforms have become integral to their operations. Lastly, let's not overlook the impact of platform updates. From Etsy's improved search functionality to YouTube's new monetization features and Twitter's algorithm tweaks, these changes can be game changers for small businesses. As we navigate through these dynamic market trends, small businesses must stay agile and adaptable. Before we wrap up this insightful journey into the world of small businesses, let's take a moment to appreciate the community that makes it all possible. This is our symbol a testament to our commitment to bringing you the latest and most relevant small business news. We're here to support, inform, and inspire. If you found value in this video, show us some love, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more updates, more insights, and more stories that celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship. Remember, every like, every share, every subscription helps us reach more people and make a bigger impact. So don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Until next time, stay informed, stay inspired, and stay ahead.